Hey there friends, it's Mel and welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome to another What's for Dinner. This one is three wonderful crock pot meals I fixed this week. I hope you enjoy them all and whatever you do, be sure and stay to the end of today's video for a very special announcement. Until then, just sit back, relax, grab your sweet tea, and let me do the cooking. The very first night of the week, I made a crock pot broccoli and cheddar soup, and I had this bag of frozen roll dough in my freezer. I just pulled it out, prepared it according to the instructions on the back of the package. I was going to be home all day, so I just did the regular thawing method where you just spray you a baking sheet, and then you put those little balls of dough out there spray a piece of plastic wrap which I was out of so I used parchment paper and sprayed it and it worked just fine and then you're just going to cover it and put it in a warm place like on the top of your stove and you're going to let them thaw and rise it takes three to four hours now on to the soup I'm going to chop up about half of an onion a little more or a little less and I'm just going to soften it up on the top of the stove in a skillet with some butter. Like I said, I was at home this day, so I took this extra step, just added a little bit more flavor to it, but you could definitely just throw you some onions in the crock pot with it and let them soften as they cook. I also took about three-fourths of a pound of Velveeta cheese and cubed it up. Of course, you start by spraying that crock pot really good with non-stick cooking spray. And I put in one bag of steamable broccoli. I did steam it and got all the water off that I could. Then I'm gonna put in those onions. I'm gonna put the butter and all that has rendered from that down in there with it. And I'm gonna use one can of cream of mushroom soup. Then I'm going to come back in with about a can and a half of water. I did season it up with some salt and pepper. I did mix it up just a little bit at this point, then I put the Velveeta cheese in. I just put the lid on it and I put it on high for about three hours. You can see my rolls, once they doubled in size, I put them in a 350 degree oven and they take about 12 or 15 minutes to cook up. You can cook your soup on high for about three hours or on low for six to eight hours. You're really just waiting for that Velveeta to melt down into everything. This soup was so yummy and so delicious, it turned off cold this week, so it was the perfect week to do these warm crock pot meals. The next crock pot meal I'm making, I used a package of smoke cooked ham, and I prepped the night before, I took the ham out, went ahead and opened it, and I pulled some out to use, and then I used put a little bag back in the freezer that I thought I would use for beans. Now it's the next morning and I'm going to put this crock pot meal together. I'm going to make up two cups of chicken broth out of the chicken broth base. Of course you start by spraying that inside of that crock pot. So good. I've got six or eight potatoes here that I'm cutting up in pretty good size pieces. 
I tried to keep them all about the same size. And I'm going to put those in the bottom of the crock pot. I saw Bethany from Budget Bethany make this meal and she mentioned that she thought the ham would be better in smaller pieces. So that's why I went with this diced ham. This meal is so good and I'll be sure and link Bethany's video for you in the description box so you can go over and check her out. She has had some wonderful crock pot meals this month and you all would just love her if you don't already know her. Next you're going to go in with a can of green beans and I chose these flat Italian green beans. I really like these and I haven't had them in a long time and I did drain all of the juice off of them and then I put in that big bag of ham. You're going to take one packet of the Italian salad dressing mix just the dry powder mix and you're going to put that over the top. Then I'm pouring in my two cups of chicken broth. That is all the seasonings I used on this. I didn't put any salt or pepper because that ham is going to have plenty enough salt in it. And you very carefully mix this together and about this point I just felt like I didn't have enough ham so I did end up pulling that other little package that I had put in the freezer to save for beans I did pull that out and I put it in here too and looking back this was delicious but I maybe should have used just regular cut green beans because mine did cook down quite a bit but it sure was delicious. And I cooked this all day on low. Pretty much the only thing that had to cook was the potatoes. And this was so good. Do you remember when you would be at your mamaw's house and she would have that big canner, uh, that big heavy canner on the stove and you'd go over there and get you some of those green beans that she had cooked down in that pressure cooker all? Oh man, that is what this tastes like. The ham gave this the most wonderful flavor, and like I said, it was so good with those potatoes and the green beans. I had some broccoli cornbread left over from another meal that you'll be seeing next week, and I had that with this. This was wonderful all in one. Now, the next meal is going to be a crock pot lasagna. You start out just browning up a pound of ground beef and I did season it up with some garlic powder and some onion powder. I didn't put any additional garlic in this recipe. When I'm putting these things together in the mornings, I'm sleepy and sometimes I don't think all the way through. But anyway, um, this one was great just like it was. And I was using ground chuck here, so I did need to drain the grease off of this. Again, spray that crock pot as good as you can. And you're just going to start layering everything. This was a recipe that I saw Jennifer at Southern Mama Drama make with a tortellini and I will be sure and leave her video linked below too. I chose to use a mini round cheese ravioli because I just don't really like the looks of tortellini. I used 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce. Take about a cup of water back in that jar and shake it up. Then you're going to put in about a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese come in with oh almost a cup of mozzarella cheese I did put some Italian seasoning in mine and I will have the recipe for this also linked below as well as the broccoli soup I'm gonna put that hamburger meat on the top and then you're just very carefully gonna mix all of that together
once you get everything combined in very well you're just going to put another probably half a cup or three-fourths a cup of mozzarella cheese over the top of it I put it on low and I just cooked this three to four hours on low so this is a great recipe if you don't maybe get started with it until later closer to lunchtime this still has plenty of time to cook and I had this in my smaller crock pot on low and it heated thoroughly and it was very warm and very good and hot on the inside but I didn't have the burning around the edges that I have had when I've done pastas in my crock pot before so I think it being so full in this smaller crock pot really helped it once I took got home again and took the lid off look how bubbly that is and that cheese is kind of melting down there on the top and I just kind of mix it up just very gently and carefully just a little bit more you don't want to break up your raviolis or anything this was delicious my youngest daughter her favorite meal is lasagna and she had been after me again to make lasagna and I said I have a new little recipe to try and she loved it and all of these meals we had enough to eat out of these for two days so it made plenty all of them did they were all very tasty and delicious this one we served up with a beautiful salad and some bread and I have to say I think this was my husband and my daughter's favorite my favorite meal of the week was the ham and green beans and potatoes we were very busy this was a perfect week for me to do crock pot meals so another couple nights of the week it was just me and my husband and we got some takeout I brought us home some barbecue I got him a big sandwich dinner with fries I got me a pulled pork dinner with some fries and beans and that was wonderful no cooking and delicious another night of the week I just pulled out some Gordon's frozen fish fillets from the freezer made him some of those and we had a loaded baked potato hey friends it is Mel I hope that you've enjoyed tonight's video I appreciate you watching it so very much as October draws to an end and we start heading into the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays, I didn't want this time to slip by without me saying a very heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you. So I would like to do a giveaway. All you have to do to be entered in this giveaway is leave a comment in tonight's What's For Dinner video. It can be anything you want. I love talking to you in the comments and we will choose randomly with a random selector from all the comments on tonight's video, we'll choose the winner. We'll be drawing at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, November the 3rd, and our winner will be announced in the What's For Dinner video next Sunday on November the 7th. So be sure and tune in. And I will draw two names. The first one will be the grand prize winner. The second one would be a backup. And I will show you in just a minute. I have a prize pack of just some of my favorite things that I have bought for myself over the last few weeks or months. And when I saw them, I thought I would love to be able to share these things with you. So I just began collecting things with hopes of doing this drawing for Thanksgiving. So I'll show you the prize pack here in just a minute. And it will also include a $25 Amazon gift card. Now, the reason I'm drawing two names is because shipping costs are so outrageous. If the first name that I draw is not in the continental United States, I will be sending you the gift card, but I won't be able to ship you the gift package. I would send that to the backup winner. But anyway, you guys are so important to me and I am so thankful for you. I appreciate the time that you give me every week that you set aside and watch my videos. I feel like we are becoming such good friends and I don't take your time for granted. I know there's a million other things you could be doing, but I'm so thankful that you do watch and I'm so thankful for the encouragement 
and the love that you give to me. You all really keep me motivated to try new things and just to keep at it. There are times we all just get burnt out and we just get down. You all keep me up and I appreciate it so much. You bring a lot of joy into my life and I appreciate each and every one of you. So let me show you the prize pack. Here's a little overview. It's not much in the prize package part, but it's all things that I enjoy and I've wanted to share with you. First of all is this beautiful Pioneer Woman tumbler. It's really a spring item, but look at that pretty little thing. I just wanted you to have one too. These are items that I got when we went to Carver's Apple Orchard and the apple butter is actually made there at the orchard. And I got you a jar of jelly. I never know how to say this word, but it's basically musky dime jelly. You know, if you've been on my channel long, I can't say anything right, but I got you a jar of that. That was not made at the orchard, but it was from like Holmes County, Ohio, up where the Amish are. I found some cute little chip clips. Y'all know how I like my potato chips. Thought you might think of me when you eat your snacks. Just got a beautiful spiral bound journal. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Got a beautiful wall calendar. Enjoy the little things. It's just got beautiful designs on each and every month. Have this book by Jen Hatmaker. It's kind of long, the same lines as another book she's written, but it is for Christmas. This is going to be very enjoyable. And this I'm most excited about. If you know Mama Sue on YouTube, I will be linking her channel down in the comments today. This is her cookbook, Mama Sue Southern Kitchen by Sue Garrett. Say a little prayer for Mama Sue. She's been fighting some cancer this year, and I know she would covet your prayers, but this is her cookbook, and you all are going to love it. Mama Sue cooks just like we like. Look there, biscuits and hoe cakes, um, chicken pie, chicken rotel, chicken spaghetti, cornbread dressing, country fried potatoes, crock pot pinto beans. I bet Mama Sue's are better than mine. She's got just anything and everything in here. Good country cooking. And I know that you will love Mama Sue's cookbook. Go check her out and send her some prayers and love. But anyway, that's what will be included along with the $25 Amazon card. This is just a very small way that I could give a little something back to you for all that you do for me. I appreciate you. I love you. And as always, I'm sending you a big hug and lots of love straight from my kitchen.